Hey, Clayton Gonzalez here with Go Analytics, and today I want to show you how to set up report pages in Power BI. So let's go. Hey, welcome to our YouTube channel. If you're finding us for the first time, be sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications to stay up to date on all of our latest videos. All right, so today we're talking about setting up our report pages in Power BI. So whether after you publish your Power BI report, it looks like this, or whether it looks like this, or maybe it might look like this. It all depends on how you set up your report page in Power BI Desktop before you publish your report. So let's take a look at my laptop and I'll show you how to properly set up a report page in Power BI. Okay, so here we are in Power BI Desktop and we can take a look at how we can set up a report page that looks like this, or we can explore all of the different ways that we can set up our report page. So I'm gonna actually just create a brand new page right here so that we can explore and see how all of the different features uh, are implemented. So to set up a report page, by default, uh, the canvas is blank here, as you can see, and it's set up as a 16 by nine ratio, which is kind of like the, the new PowerPoint ratio, but we can edit all of that inside of Power BI Desktop. So to do that, we go to the visualizations pane, which right now I had it contracted, but I can expand it. And since I'm not selected on any visual, I can go to the little uh, paintbrush here, uh, which is the format your report page and see all of these options here. Now, this is going to look different depending on if you've selected a visual. For example, if I come back here to this landing page for a moment, for example, let's say I've selected this little line chart here. So now the options look slightly different. So the options that I have is to edit this specific visual. So if I click on the paintbrush here to format it, I will be formatting this line chart instead of the whole page. But if I click outside of that visual on a blank part of my canvas here, now I'm able to again format my report page. As you can see here, it says format your report page. So let's go back to our blank page again and take a look at all of the things that we can do from formatting. So the first thing that we can do under the page information is we can give our report page name. So let's just call this uh, new report page. And now we have two options here. We can either allow this to be a tooltip. So you can have uh, an entire page be used as a tooltip in another visual. And to do that, you would first need to select uh, that on. So by default, it's turned off. Also, you need to allow this uh, to be in the Q&A visual. So if anybody's asking questions using natural language, whether this page is allowed to be displayed in that, uh, you would need to first select that on. So by default, all, both of these options are turned off. Taking a look at the canvas settings, this is where we set up our the size of our canvas. So as I mentioned before, by default, it's a 16 by nine ratio, but we can select uh, four by three, which used to be the old PowerPoint, uh, which is kind of that more square look, uh, or you can set it up as a letter. So this would be your eight and a half by 11. So your normal standard sort of PDF reports, or you can set it up as a tooltip by the, by default, the tooltip is a 240 pixel by 320. So it gives you that view here. You can also edit that um, by choosing custom and actually inputting whatever height and whatever width for the page you desire. So we can set this up as a high definition 1920 by 1080 pixels. And this would be your standard sort of laptop uh, type of view. But Let's leave it at 16 by nine for now. And let's explore what we can do under canvas background. So this is where you would select a background, whether it be a background color or a background image. So if you see here, I can choose any color. So let's choose this purple here. Uh Oh, nothing happened. I selected my color purple, but I'm still seeing white. Well, that's because by default, the transparency 
for the background is set at 100%. So if you want to actually view your background, you would need to change that. You know, maybe you want to go halfway. So you kind of see a little bit of purple, but it's a little bit uh, faint as well with the background, or you can go 100%. And now you see that color in full um, uh, transparency. So not transparent at all. But let's say we want a report page. So similar to this page here where we have this uh, background that we've designed, we can add background images to any report page. So I can go back here to the uh, format for my page and under canvas background, I can select an image. So I'm gonna click on that and go to where I have saved this image. So here's my image, I can select that and again, I can change the transparency so that I can actually see that image. And as you see, it's not fitting quite well here. So you do have the ability to change how your background image fits. So I can check to fit into the canvas. So here we go. Now it's fitting perfectly into my canvas. Going down the list of things that we can do here, we can change the wallpaper. So what's a wallpaper? Well, the wallpaper is kind of everything that's behind our canvas. As you can see here, anything where our background image uh, is taking up is called the canvas. And the space behind it is what Power BI calls the wallpaper. So here again, I could either select an image or I can select a color. So if I wanted to brand this whole report uh, with my yellow color here, uh, as you can see, I can choose that. I can also change the transparency, uh, whether I want it to be a faint yellow or a very dark yellow, I can play around with that. Going back to white here just for a second, and we can also change the settings under the filter pane. So the filter pane, as you can see, it's this pane right here. And if you haven't hidden this from your end users, they will be able to see this. And by default, Power BI makes this uh, a white background and a, a gray text here, but you can edit all of that. It, it can be as flexible and as custom to your brand as you need it to be. So I can change the font color here. For example, let's, uh, let's make it this uh, orange here. And now you can see all of the uh, fonts in the filter pane have been changed to orange and we can change the input box color. So right now the input box is uh, white, but let's say we wanted it to be a light um, light orange. We can choose that as well. You can change header sizes and so on. There's a lot of things that can be uh, edited here. We can change our filter pane background actually. So let's say we wanted to go with a dark gray. Oh, that looks awful. Uh, but just to give you an idea of the things that you can do with your filter pane by um, setting this up in Power BI Desktop, and the final thing that you can do is your filters card. So what is the filters card? The filters card is a little card that appears here when you've applied a filter to this page or to a visual. So I'm gonna put something here from our data set. Uh, let me go into my data table and let's add in a program name under filters on this page. So as you can see right now, the uh, filter card is a white background with a dark, uh, probably black font. So all of that can be added from the filter cards section here when we're editing our report. So as you can see, here's the text uh, and icon colors. I can change it to a lighter gray, for example, if I need it to be a, a lighter gray, or maybe I'll go white here and change the, uh, the background color to a dark orange, let's say. So all of that can be edited here so that you can get the exact look and feel to your report that you need uh, and publish that to your end user so that it's nice and branded uh, the exact way that you want your full report to look like. So that's it. That's how you can set up report pages in Power BI. Remember, if you like this video, subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on all of our latest videos. 
And by the way, we have some exciting news. We're going to be releasing an online course soon, so be sure to check that out. Uh, we'll be providing more information here over the next couple of months.